Big news on the horizon for video shooters and content creators, Nikon's next camera could be a game-changing, Sony rivaling video specialist packed with cutting-edge red cinema technology. According to fresh leaks reported by Nikon Rumors, Nikon is preparing to launch a brand new Z-mount camera, potentially named the Nikon ZR, later in 2025, and it might just be the fusion of Red's pro cinema power and Nikon's photography heritage fans have been waiting for. Here's what the rumors reveal. The Nikon ZR is expected to be a true video-first mirrorless camera, taking full advantage of Nikon's recent acquisition of the iconic American cinema giant, Red Digital Cinema. Nikon closed the deal in April 2024, picking up Red and its legendary video know-how for $85 million. Since then, Red has already released Z-mount versions of its famous Komodo and V-Raptor cameras, but the ZR is tipped to be the first original Nikon design built from the ground up with Red engineering inside. So what sets the rumored ZR apart from the rest? According to the leak, the new camera will sport a brick-shaped body inspired by Red's blocky professional cinema cameras, like the Komodo and V-Raptor, but also take design cues from Nikon's own Z30 and the compact, no-nonsense form factor seen in the Sony FX3. Instead of the classic pentaprism, or even an electronic viewfinder, this video-centric beast is likely to go fully screen-based, mirroring the trend toward modular, monitor-driven filmmaking rigs. Rumors also suggest that the ZR will use the highly praised 24.5-megapixel partially stacked full-frame sensor from the Nikon Z63, promising excellent image quality and low-light performance while keeping rolling shutter under control. But one of the biggest physical differences, the size of the display. While most mirrorless cameras settle for 3-inch screens, the Nikon ZR is said to feature a very large LCD, potentially up to 4 or even 5 inches, perfect for filmmakers who demand clear detailed monitoring on set. After acquiring RED, Nikon's president publicly declared the strategy leverage RED's technology to expand Nikon's presence in the video and filmmaking market. So it's no surprise that insiders expect the ZR to showcase RED-driven features, which could include advanced in-camera codecs, professional standardized connections, and potentially support for raw video formats and cinema-grade color science, all in a Z-mount camera body. The Nikon ZR represents more than just another camera launch. If these leaks prove accurate, this could be the start of a new era for Nikon, one where its photographic strength and red cinema DNA merge to compete directly against Sony's FX series and Canon's cinema line. Expect a modular, video-first experience, designed for filmmakers, videographers, YouTubers who need a portable but uncompromising tool. Official details are still under wraps, but word is Nikon will announce the ZR officially in late 2025, most likely in the third or fourth quarter. Speculation is already running wild about what features and pricing Nikon will bring to the table, but one thing is certain, competition in the video space is about to heat up dramatically. As always, take these early leaks with some skepticism, but with Nikon and RED now working hand in hand, the ZR could be one of the most exciting camera releases of the year for video pros and enthusiasts alike. Stay updated for more camera leaks, hands-on tests, and reviews as we get closer to the rumored ZR launch. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss future updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.